I'm Romano Bottini and I'm going to be teaching you guys about subject verb agreement. So first off, the basics are that singular subjects require singular verbs. For example, the man helped his friend. So the man helped is the basics of it. And then plural subjects require plural forms of verbs. So the men help his friend. Then the next part is the conjunction and. Whenever you use and to connect two items, it always has to be plural. For example, the boy and the victim were no longer friends. And another example is the mother and son were not talking. So when you use and, that verb were would always have to be plural too. There's one exception with this, however. It's when the two items describe the same exact thing. For example, it would be peanut butter and jelly is my favorite sandwich. So peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly are the two things in the describing the exact same sandwich. Um, the next thing is indefinite pronouns. These pronouns are things such as uh, everyone and someone, and they seem plural, but they're always singular for the verb form. Uh, so you would say, everybody is going to St. Vincent de Paul tonight. Everybody is. If that were plural, you would say everyone are. That does not sound correct. So when you say everybody is going to St. Vincent de Paul tonight. Another one would be someone has asked me to help make meals. Someone doesn't sa it sounds singular, so you would keep it singular in this form. The next part would be countable pronouns. These words include words such as um, some, many, all. Uh, these all can be used as a pronoun at times, but it depends on whether the pronoun is countable or not. So if the, wor if the word is countable, then it will be plural. If the word is uncountable, it is singular. For example, some of the people have already been helped. These people right here, they can be, they can be helped. So when you use the word some, some of the people, that has to be a plural item. So you'd use have. Um, if you say all of the building, has been built by students. You can't really count all the building. It's only one building. You can't really count all that stuff. So it'd be singular in this form. And this rule also applies with fractional items. So if you were to say two thirds of the kids kids have finished homework, have finished their homework, you would say it'd be um, it'd be plural because the two thirds of the kids is countable. If you were to say three-fifths of the school is underwater, uh, it'd be singular because you really can't count that school. It's one item. It would, you would be it would keep it singular. All right, so this next part is a little bit tricky. We're going to be dealing with the words neither or either. Whenever neither or either appear in a sentence, when you're not using the words or or nor, it's always going to be singular. For example, neither of the inhabitants plans on coming home soon. When you say neither of the inhabitants plans, you, it looks a little bit like it's plural. But if you're saying neither of the inhabitants, it's only referring to one. You're referring to one at a time. So you'd say plans on coming home soon. And another example is pick one of the areas to clean. Either one is fine with me. So when you're talking about the areas, either is only one thing. So you get to pick one or the other. So either is just dealing with one of them. The next step to this either and neither is um, correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are words are like or and nor. So when you use or or nor as correlative conjunctions, whichever subject is closer to the verb determines its number. So and its number is whether it's plural or singular or not. Plural or singular. Need, so example is uh, neither of the parents nor the student has called me back regarding his discipline. So the parents are uh, plural, but the student is singular, so you say student has instead of parents have. So the which one is, since student is closer to has, that's which one you would use. Another example is either the criminal or the officers are deceiving us. So officers are, since it is closer than criminal to the verb. 
Alright guys, uh, that's it with my TED Talk. And down below is a link to a quiz that will help you with this uh, subject-verb agreement. And I hope it goes well.